guys, welcome back to Gin and Tenor Less. Today I'm going to be sharing with you a bunch of sunscreens and I think I will have something for everyone. Um, you guys know that I have a son so I've been testing it when we went to the beach for 10 days. I tested some things out on him um, and his skin because his skin is more sensitive than my skin. He has eczema um, and then I tested some things out on myself as well every day. So yeah, we went through a lot of sunscreen. First thing up, this is something I cannot live without. It's just the generic brand, the Up and Up brand. Um, one of these little sticks, you can get the name brand, I don't think it really matters. But this is so good for the face. I put this all over Everett's face and he did not get any um, sun at all on his nose or his cheeks and it stayed really good in the water because when we're at the beach, most of the time we are in the water. Um, so I, the things that I picked out are mostly waterproof things. Um, I also like to add this onto my nose. Now I did a video on what kind of facial sunscreens I like and I will link that below the Polish Choice video. Um, but even with all the Polish Choice stuff on, I still add this onto my nose because that's the first place I find that um, it sweats off and washes off whenever I get in the water and I really don't want my nose to get skin cancer. Next thing for the lips, I have one of these open um, and I used it the whole time we were at the beach. It's the Aquaphor Lip Repair and Protect Broad Spectrum SPF 30. Uh, a lot of times when you use one of these lip products and it has sunscreen in it, you get this nasty taste in your mouth. This is the least nasty out of all the ones I've tried. So I really do like this one. Um, I like that it's a squeeze tube so that it won't melt in my bag, but I can still keep it in my beach bag. And when we were at the beach, let me tell you, we went out every day from like 11 to 1, and then at night we went out from 5 to 6.30, and so that's, you know, kind of how I tested these things. A lot of skincare products, like sunscreen products, say they're water resistant for eight, 80 minutes, so, you know, we should be pretty good with those, um, as long as we reapply, you know, when we're out for longer than that. The, this is something I got for Everett. It's called Wet Skin. It's supposed to be really good for people that are in and out of the water. It has bar, broad spectrum SPF 30, and I will list everything in the description below, um, all the claims and things, but I'm just gonna tell you my opinions in this video. Um, I really like this. The first day I used this, I kind of, when I did it on myself, I did it kind of sparingly, just kind of, I don't know, willy-nilly and didn't really think about it and I missed some spots. So I'm really disappointed because I got burned. But when I did Everett, I made sure to really give him a good coat. You can go through a few of these in the summertime if you use them the way that you're supposed to. Really giving, um, you know, a thick coat. One thing I did not like about this, the smell, like I sprayed it when I was on the porch and the fan was on outside, um, but for some reason it did give me some asthma, so that was not good. You wanna make sure you're in a well-ventilated area, but that's the only negative thing I have to say about this. Everett you know, uses this at the pool here and at the beach, and um, this stuff works great for kids. I really like the wet skin. I got the liquid version for myself to use next time we go to the beach. Next thing up is the Ocean Potion Instant Dry 30 Mist. Now, this is my least favorite. I really do like the smell. It smells like creamsicles, but the problem is if you're not at the beach, if you're at the pool, bugs will be attracted to this and um, mosquitoes, bees, and so I really don't like to have a super sweet smell on. Uh, one of the great things is it's um, pretty cheap and it's oxybenzo free. I don't know, that's kind of like one of those things that a lot of sunscreens have and all the sunscreens I'm mentioning right now are chemical sunscreens. Um, a lot of sunscreens like this one have it in there and it's, I mean if you Google it, there are people that really think it's um, dangerous and then other people that, you know, don't. Um, but I. Oh, and another thing about this, when you spray it on, it's not, it doesn't leave a white cast on your skin, but you can see like a shiny, I don't know, you spray it on, it looks like all shiny all over your body, you know, um, and that does not go away. But at least you can tell where you sprayed and if you missed any spots. Next thing up, this one is my 
favorite spray. It is the Cool Dry Sport from S from uh, Neutrogena, and I will insert it right here. Um, I really do like this, and I left this one at the beach because I know I'm going to use it next time I go back. It kind of has um, a more masculine smell to it, but nothing like that I was embarrassed to wear or anything. But if I just had to put a, my finger on it, it's kind of a more masculine smell. It did not give me any asthma, and um, I did not get burned with it. Nothing bad to say about it. And yeah, we'll be using it when we go back to the beach next month. Um, next thing, the Copper Tone Clearly Sheer for Beach or Pool SPF 50. And they have another version that's like for sunny days, I think. But I got the one for the pool. Okay, this one is the worst. Worse, worse, worse. Okay, so I got a lotion because I didn't want to miss any spots, and so I put it all on, and it was really difficult to rub in to try to get, you know, rid of the white cast. So I rub, rub, rubbed, finally got it all in, let it sit for 20 minutes, which is what you're supposed to do with all chemical sunscreens, let it be absorbed in your skin for 20 minutes before going out in the sun. And as soon as I would get in the water, it would like rise up off my skin and be like all white and lotiony and it looked like I just put on lotion so it was like floating off my skin it was so gross and I gave it I think I gave it three different tries um, so I don't know if it's just my skin maybe it was the lotion I used the night before or something but that's not good because if it's floating off your skin is it really still protecting your skin if you're seeing like white you know lotion all over I don't know if you've ever had that happen to you you know what I mean but um yeah and this one is also SPF 50 most of the time I get 30 um, because I'll link an article I read that made me want to get 30 it's about how high SPFs don't really protect that much better um, but that's you know my personal preference and then the last thing the banana boat protect and hydrate two in one SPF 15 and I left this one at the beach too it, I really, really liked it for my legs. Um, I know it only has an SPF of 15, but then again, if you read that article, it doesn't seem like 15 is all that bad. I like how moist it kept my legs, and um, you know, those are the first things on me to dry out. So it just made my legs look tan and beautiful. I will consider getting the 30 for all over, but I don't think it's something that is as waterproof as let's say the wet skin. So if I'm, so I guess it's real, there's really no point because I'm always going in the water, either the pool or whatever. So I do need something that's really waterproof. Um, but I like the way that smelled, not too overbearing, didn't feel like bugs would be attracted to me wearing that and very, very, very moisturizing. If I forgot to mention anything, Again, check the description box below, and if you have a favorite sunscreen for your body that you would like to share, either for children or for adults, please comment below, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.